Hey G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review. Today we will be looking at an interesting vehicle and action figure. Um, it is the alleged Target ex exclusive Air Assault Glider and Captain Ace version 3. Why alleged? Well, According to Yojo.com, this toy was to be released as a Target exclusive um, as part of the wave in 2010. Um, it was supposed to have been sold for $5.99, but for reasons unknown, it got liquidated through Ross in December of that year. And frankly, I don't recall seeing that at Ross. Of course, I don't shop at Ross that much, but uh, mine does have the Target sticker on it. So, um, yeah, that makes it kind of unique for me. If it was sold at Ross and had a Target sticker, that would be cool, but that one doesn't have Ross's um, sale tag on it at all anywhere um, unless the, this seller that I had bought it from pulled that tag off and uh, or it could just been a fluke that some of these had made it to Target but I don't know the answer to that so we'll, we'll just leave it as that but after buying this toy I could see why um, it was released um, directly to Target or to um, Ross um, you know, I have a few problems with this. One, why the name change? Why did they go from Ace to Captain Ace? Did somebody in the Hasbro, cop Hasbro Copyright Department drop the ball or just wanted to punch up the name? Now, if, if they lost the copyright on it, okay, how hard is it? I, I'm not a copywriter, so, you know, I'm speaking completely ignorantly, speaking my opinion. How hard is it to renew a copyright? I mean, it, the, there's not much difficulty to it, I'm sure. You know, just, um, I'm, I'm copywritten. I have a, a book out there. It was just submitted um, to the copyright office and boom I got a copyright on my publisher I went through my publisher for that of course uh, Ace is um, this version is made in uh, true Hasbro fashion he has tripwires head um, tripwire version 5 he has his head torso has the waist and arms of uh, Snow Job version 5. So he's completely Frankenstein. There's nothing really original about him. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a subpar figure for me. But let's go ahead and um, take a closer look at this guy. All right, so here he is, Captain Ace. Now I have the version of Tripwire, which uh, parts were borrowed from. As you can see, see the head of Tripwire and the head of Ace. They just slapped a mustache on Ace and did a, a little repaint on it. This Tripwire looks pretty cool, actually. He looks more like a fighter pilot to me than he does a mine detection specialist. But um, you can see that tripwire borrowed from Flash, also known as Sergeant Flash, another, another copyright blunder. Um, they borrowed his, his whole body and just uh, gave him a, another head. But it's cost-cutting measures, and I could completely understand that. It just gets a little old after a while. You now give us a, an original figure, please. So Ace 
came with two accessories aside from the vehicle. He came with this machine gun or a, a machine pistol. Uh, came with two of them. The other one I have packed away and uh, couldn't find it and really didn't try all that hard since it is a duplicate. Not much to, to talk about with the gun. Um, you know, aside from it looking pretty cool, you know, two-handed grip. It looks, I don't know, it doesn't really look like an MP5 to me. I'm not sure what weapon that really is, if it's even resembling a real-world weapon. But Ace is a great character. He really is. He's popular, popular with collectors. There are eight versions of him. Uh, but the last one being released in 2015. But I am more partial to version one, as I am sure most of you are. Uh, the kids that had the Ace in the 90s, and that being their first exposure to him, I'm sure that would be your favorite. But Ace version one is mine. So what's an Ace review without showing you the original Ace? You see this one is pretty badly yellowed. Um, he is the first one I, I've had, and uh, he's not the one I yellowed in my, um, bleached in my original, in my um, demonstration video. But I, I just want to keep him as he is, uh, just for posterity's sake. So, um, let's go ahead and take a, a look at Ace here a little closer. I mean, he it's not a, a bad sculpt, really. Um, I, I do like the helmet. The cheesy mustache could go. Uh, it's a very decent flight suit that he's wearing. You know, it's clad in gray because this is the Ar arctic assault so he does want to blend in a little bit with the the snow uh he does have the modern articulation so i won't go over that um but it looks like here on the front looks like he has a um a lollipop to pull for a parachute but they don't have anything really indicating a parachute but he does have a, a harness that's supposed to attach him to the his glider and his glider is uh, jet powered you know kind of like the stinger or not the stinger but the claw the cobra claw is so let's go ahead and take a look at the their assault glider uh, as you can see it's has a pretty decent wingspan. It's you know clad in gray camo. Please pardon the wire. I have it hanging from my ceiling. Now it has two fixed red missiles on each wing. It has this pretty awesome Gatling gun on the front. I like that feature. It unfortunately it's not functioning. That would have been pretty cool if they could have made that to turn a little bit. Um, has two detachable missiles. But this has a, a little gimmick to it. If any of you aren't familiar with it, I'll get to that in a minute. But these missiles aren't all that bad looking. I mean, it, it almost looks like a uh, German anti-tank rocket. Um, does have the standard dumbbell peg on there. Pretty decent missile, but the gimmick on this, the wings detach, and you could hook them right in there, in these little slots. Sorry, that was probably off screen. Just hooked them in into these little little slots right here. They peg in, and you could attach the missiles right here on each side. And it goes into kind of a different mode. 
a, you know, a, would call that a drone. It looks like a drone to me. So let's go ahead and get it back to its original position. Um, this did have handlebars on it. Um, I just now realized that they are missing. I'm terribly sorry about that. I should have looked closer. Um, they're probably with the other gun. But they're very flimsy handlebars, as you can see here on the box art. Um, they're very thin, and Ace just could not hold on to them. Uh, they would bend and pop out of position. You see on the box art, there are some Neo Vipers up there shooting at him. So, I'll get to the box here in a minute. But um, Ace... Just pegs right onto the glider. I mean, it, it doesn't look all that bad, really. I mean, coming from a hanging position, it doesn't look that bad. It's, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it, it looked cooler <laughs> on Amazon than, you know, when I got it. He was kind of a letdown. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box art. It's from the Rise of Cobra series. Uh, has a G.I. Joe symbol on there. Air Assault Glider with Captain Ace. It's the Arctic Threat. And up here at the top of this very dusty box. Thank you, Arizona. Uh, it says G.I. Joe is a highly trained classified special operations Unit composed of men and women from around the globe. Officially, these warriors don't exist. Few know the truth. That G.I. Joe fights a secret war as the first and last line of defense against the forces that seek to plunge our world into chaos. However, there is trouble, G.I. Joe. Wherever there is trouble, G.I. Joe is there. Uh, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Okay. So, on the back, you know, it has some more, you know, bits of art. And over here, it says, flying over the frozen tundra in an air assault glider, Captain Ace descends towards a manufacturing plant to observe the unknown facility more closely. The building doors burst open, and Cobra tro troopers pour out of the plant. When they start firing at him, he takes aim at the glider's multi-barrel canyon, cannon, and the A2G missiles. I mean, if, if, this, if he's supposed to be Arctic Assault and he's flying, don't you think you'd want to cover his face a little bit more? Give him a heavier outfit to wear? I mean, it's got to be butt cold up there. You know, count the wind chill factor. Forget about it. And the file card. Um, right down here. It says, Captain Ace is a pilot on the G.I. Joe team and a former Air Force fighter pilot at home in the cockpit of most of any type of aircraft. He has flown numerous missions all over the world. He performs test flights of the team's advanced prototype aircraft. Okay, well, if he test proto <laughs> prototype aircraft, I think they'd at least make him a major or a lieutenant colonel. I mean, that's a pretty dangerous and important job. And Ace has been a captain all these years. Come on, give the man a promotion. So, furthermore, it reads, Captain Ace, Brad J. Arm, Armbruster, which I keep on wanting to call him Armbuster. I actually work with a woman with the same last name, and I call her Armbuster, and she she doesn't like it very much. But his serial number is 22335BJ74. Grade Captain, 03. Preferred Weapon is an 820 selective fire long range fully automatic assault rifle. So that's what the, this little assault rifle is that he carries in his hand. So 
There you have it. Captain Ace with his Batman wings. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I guess. Alright, so for the parts on Ace that are easily lost and broken, uh, his weapons, of course, are easily lost. But to the air assault glider, the two silver and red detachable missiles, and the silver handlebars that are easily lost. Well, as you can tell, yeah, they are easily lost because it's like an idiot. I took them off and forgot where I put them. But I know they're here somewhere. That's the important part. So the toy is complete. Um... So he is very easy to find on the aftermarket, you know, being a relatively new toy and not very popular. Uh, start, starting prices are $19.99. That's complete, loose and complete, uh, with the file card. Up to $32.99. That's new in box. Um, I didn't see any of his accessories. For sale on eBay as of today um, or the glider being sold by itself um, anything like that so that just goes to show you that this thing is new and not real popular but being a collector you know I, I have to have it and I just to add to the collection and I I'm doing my best to give this guy a fair review. Um, you know, there, I'm sure there are people out there who, who like this. I mean, it, it's great for, for a display. I mean, you can see it, he displays pretty well. Oh, and this one thing I just actually noticed because I never really paid cl real close attention to this, but on the back of the glider you see their additional machine guns now that's pretty cool that that jumps up the wow factor a little bit for me um so i'm learning something from my own review and to be be honest with you guys i just pulled this one down in a pinch uh, so it, it's uh, for sale on the aftermarket for $32.99, new in box. And from what info I, I gathered, um, you know, by looking at yojo.com, as they have a, a section that says wanted by X amount of members and X amount of has by X amount of members. I, I think there were like 58 people that want this. And only 235, if I remember right, I didn't write the numbers down. Uh, only 235 people admit to owning this. And I'm obviously one of those 235s. I have it listed on there. Uh, but his popularity, I could see why that this one isn't all that great. Um, there's nothing really unique about him. Uh, I think it would have been... A lot better just personally if he was just sold individually carded I mean he would look look pretty good carded um, give her the, the, that glider um, I'm not a fan of the glider really it, it looks kind of weird to me I'm made out of a, a heavy plastic and there's no way on this green earth would this ever be a, a functioning vehicle um, so the, the reality factor has kind of gone out the window on it. But for a, a toy that sold for $5.99, I'm sure there's some kids out there that really enjoyed it and had fun with it. And I'm sure if I were younger and I had it, I would have had more fun with it too. But as an adult, I just can't, can't do it. Uh, his color scheme is great. I, I love the, the gray... Uh, flight suit and no I didn't intentionally wear my gray scrubs today to match match ace um, 
Oh, it just happened to end up like that today. Um, the, the, his glider is cheap. It's gimmicky. The handlebars are real flimsy. I mean, they're very thin plastic, and he just can't hold on to them. So that takes away from more of the, the realism factor, and I'm kicking myself in the butt right now for not having those to show just how, how bad it is. Uh, and the glider itself just looks kind of cheap to me. It, you know, what, what fun is in that? You know, I can't see it as an adult. So I hope you like this review. I, um, sorry, I wasn't a little more enthusiastic about it. It, this is just something hard to be enthusiastic about. I mean, boomerang ace. I mean, that's what it looks like, a boomerang. Just throw it and see if it comes back. And I highly doubt it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... The action figure, like I said, is pretty cool. But I just can't, can't get into it. Um, so with all that being said, thank you guys so very much for tuning in, for bearing with me, for watching this video. And thank you very much to all you who have subscribed to my channel and to those who leave me comments. I really appreciate it. Um, I love hearing from you guys. Um, I've kindled some really nice friendships off of this channel. And from watching other G.I. Joe reviewers, I've kindled friendships from their, their channels as well. Uh, don't forget about my giveaway. It's coming up one month from today. July 1st is my one-year anniversary of actually being a YouTube creator. Um, I joined YouTube, I think back in 2007, 2008. So when I really started watching YouTube, some kids at work got me started on it. Um, and I've just enjoyed it ever since. And uh, watching other creators have inspired me to, to start creating, getting out of my little introverted shell that I was in and actually appear on camera. Um, still a little uncomfortable doing that. But uh, yes, my giveaway... July 1st, I will be giving away an awesome prize to my subscribers only. And I uh, learned from YouTube, you have to be um, your uh, profile has to be made public in order for me to see who you are. It doesn't give away any of your information, just gives me your name, um, your, your screen name. And unfortunately, I can't give away a prize to people that have subscribed that don't have a public profile. And that's cool. I respect that very much. I respect your an anonymity. That word is so hard to say for me. Being anonymous. I, I respect the privacy factor completely. But um, I will be drawing from that box that I drew from before. And uh, a fabulous prize will be given out. Um, you know, I have a hard time keeping secrets for surprises, I should say, keeping those kind of secrets. Um, personal secrets that people confide in me, heck yes, those are locked away. And some I even forget purposely forget um, just for that reason so that being said hold on a second I will tell you what the prize is uh, you just probably saw it in a camera um, I can't believe I'm doing this I really can't um, the voices in my head said I'm I'm normal for doing this um, it I'm a generous person not saying that to toot my own horn, but the prize right here. How? With 
with Denny's Grand Slam. Not the breakfast. Uh, this was Denny's Grand Slam. I actually bought it from a guy named Denny. Comes complete with Grand Slam. That is the prize. I promised it would be a good one. Uh, that is how much I appreciate you guys, honestly. Um, this is one of them, I reviewed this last week. This is one of my favorite toys from when I was a kid. So I, I made a place to bid on eBay and won another complete one. So I did that purposely so I could give you guys a very nice prize just for subscribing to my channel. Okay, um, that's, that's how much you guys mean to me, honestly. So there, there you go. Not so much of a surprise anymore, is it? <laughs> Sorry I couldn't keep the secret in much longer. It was just killing me. So yes, my year subscription, that is the prize. So, um, I can't really ask you guys to, um, share this video and, uh, help get subscribers now, can I? Because that would lessen your chances. But the more subscribers I get, the more opportunities for everybody will be out there for more prizes. Okay. Now, since I'm giving away such a, a cool, cool toy, I need a favor. I have, I have signed up on Patreon. Uh, it's under Joe Motion Videos 82. Um, I'm asking for donations to help keep this channel running. Uh, it's getting a little bit difficult for me to to run this. I I need help from you guys uh, the to to not only buy more toys to review and to give away, um, but I also need better computer equipment, and I just don't have the funds for that personally um you know I, I work in healthcare. that doesn't mean i'm rich um uh, let's uh just get that out of the way that that is a common misconception the only rich ones out there are the the doctors the specialists are especially are the ones that are doing well um that's low level people from CNAs to medical assistants to respiratory therapists and nurses, we don't make all that much money. So um, it's just not in my budget right now to go and buy a new computer, new computer equipment. Um, my camera is fine. Um, I just don't have the software to make a decent video to give you guys a decent video which you so you deserve and I I want to give that to you uh, my computer just I just can't upload from my this beautiful video camera that I, I have that came from a very close friend of mine hold on my dog's barking at somebody good she could keep barking it's a salesman um, I just want to I don't want to be bothered. So anyway, guys, uh, I would really appreciate if you head on over to my Patreon page, sign up. There are multi-levels, and each level, uh, I think it starts off at $1, then 2 then 3 and it, it goes up from there. And each level that gets higher, there are more opportunities afforded to you guys. Um, I'm not asking for astronomical dollar amounts. I'm not looking to get rich off of this. The money's going right back into my channel. It's going back to you as well. It'll be going back to you in prizes. And uh, 
plan on giving away gift cards too if there are people that don't particularly want a toy. Uh, heck, I'll throw out some gift cards, geez, movie tickets, whatever. Some very unique and cool prizes. You know, just my way of saying thank you and how much I appreciate you guys just for watching this fat, bald schlub make these YouTube videos. Uh, you guys are great. You really are. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This has been Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys have a great day. Yo, Joe and stuff. Follow me on Twitter, too. Uh, under Byron Kellogg or J, JV video, uh, JV82. So, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.